right now. Seeing my mom and dad up there, and just that's something I always told Coach when I come, I'm doing whatever I can to help the team win. Whether that be leading, rebounding, scoring, whatever the team needs at the time. And I feel like just the supporting system I have behind me on the bench and on the flow with me at all times, they always pushing me to be my best. Even if I'm struggling, they trying to get me out of my slump. So it's like when I do kick in, it just kick in and I go. So. And so who do you, who do you mow your game after? Oh, that's a tough one. I'm going to have to go with my dad. You know, he's... Played at USA, South Alabama, played in the NBA for a little while, went overseas, 6'11", got it always, taught me to play defense first and crash the board at all costs. You can always get points from rebounding, so I always figure why not do with that. So I try to be like him. He try to get me to be like other people and score outside more and stuff, but I feel like I play like him. You know, that's commendable because, you know, most, most athletes, when you ask them who they mold their game after, they say a professional athlete. You say a family member, so that's, that's pretty uh, yeah, that is that's that's very honorable. So yeah, I, I like that answer. That's that's really cool. So talk about um, what were your feelings after the game? I mean, you guys. I mean, I mean before the game, what were you guys? What was your emotion? I mean, after so many years, it's the first game. Got this team coming in. I mean, had you even heard of this team before you before y'all even played them? Nah, I haven't. But like, it was. We worked hard. We've been working hard ever since we got here. Coach pushed us. Coach stay on it. You know, he, he bonds with us to make it comfortable for us. And it kind of was easy to, like, come in and play because we knew we got – we know we got each other at all costs. So as long as we can stick together, we're as good as anybody. So we felt comfortable. Yeah, and some people's nerves were shaking up. And it's going to be like that Ed, to start every game, to be honest. But you got to settle down and keep playing. So – Coach, uh, talk about Jalen. What does he bring to the team? Uh, how important is he? And uh, what positions, do, you know, do, does he really uh, make a difference at? You know, his, his leadership uh, and his work ethic is tremendous. You know, um, it, when he pushes, when he goes hard, our other guys are going to go hard. You know, he just uh, he leads by example. Um, you know, he's. He can, he can play some three and a four. Mostly we'll play him at the four just because we're a little bit undersized. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm just uh, fortunate to be able to coach him, and and uh, I know he's going to lead us this year um, on the court and off. You know, he, he's a good – he's a good uh, – not only a good uh, um, player, but he's also excellent in the classroom as well. So he's doing – he's a student athlete. Jalen, talk about your excitement of playing USM uh, on Tuesday. I know you guys are going down to Jacksonville to play in a tournament there with some big schools. But talk about that game Tuesday against USM. Are you guys ready to make a, a mark and, and show that you guys are ready to play anybody, anywhere, and anytime? Well, yeah, we're going to compete regardless. So I ain't too much focused on them yet. When we get there, we'll focus on them. But like Coach said, we're going to play Charger basketball and they going to have to come with it if they want it. Because we're going to come too. All right. Well, Kenzie, I like the confidence. Yeah, you got to love it, love it uh, that, that Jalen brings. Uh, and, you know, uh, what a coach, a, a coaching job that Coach Phillips has, has brought together with these young men uh, from all walks of life and all right. backgrounds, you know, and bringing them together to uh, form a team, a brand new team, to get the season opening win. Are you ready for, for a little basketball next I week? I am ready for some basketball. Okay, now now Saturday, we're not going to be broadcasting again until Saturday from uh, Kim's Kim. Nissan. Big Tim Bob may be back in the house. <laughs> Come on, Big Tim Bob. So we're going to be talking about uh, the big games and the SEC, Bama and uh, LSU and uh, there in the Big Ten, we got Michigan at Penn State, another big game. So, yeah. uh, some good ones there, Coach. And we'll be live from Reed Green Coliseum Tuesday at seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Okay, so sure. seven o'clock uh, tip off. Uh, tune in about six thirty to, to get the pregame show from uh, Reed Green Coliseum. We'll be courtside to bring you all the the action of Charger basketball. So. Join us all season with our Player of the Week, sponsored by Raising Canes and Middleton's Tree Service. Um, wait, our Kicking It With the Coach, sponsored by 
Middleton's tree I know. service. It's just so many sponsors. Yeah, yeah, so many great ones. And our player of the week sponsored by Old River Road Deer Processing. So thank you guys for sponsoring the show. We appreciate you. And we'll see you Saturday from Kim's Nissan. Then on Tuesday, we'll see you from Reed Green Coliseum as our Chargers take on the Golden Eagles as they whip the Golden Eagles next week. Are you ready, Kinsley? I'm ready. That would be a really, really great game. Any final words? Um, I'm just, you know, I'm excited about this opportunity. I'm excited about this basketball team and good basketball team because, you know, they show uh, they have a lot of talent. So I'm just you know, I know you're excited about it, so hey, just excited about a season of excitement. That's absolutely right. So get ready because the Chargers are coming in and ready to play a little basketball this weekend. We're not going to be in Jacksonville, but we will be there Tuesday night. So for Coach uh, Braddock, for Coach Phillips, for Jalen Lett, for Kensley Keys, I'm Big John saying God bless, and we'll see you Saturday live from Kemp's Nissan at 9.30 a.m. Until then, we'll see you. Thank you.